and away from that and now to Bias State where the controller of immigration Bias State Command, Mr. James Sunday, has charged officers and men of the command to ensure they are always at their duty post. Despite the flooding that greatly affected everyone in the state, the controller gave the charge when he paid an unscheduled visit to the command passport office and the command's headquarters and was also affected by the ravaging flood. He also stated that the Controller General of Nigeria Immigration Service, Azara Idris Jere, is putting out plans for officials of the command to embark on amphibian training. On the mandate of the service, without actually saying there's flood anywhere or whatever, most of my officers here are officers that are from the riverine area. So swimming is part of the ethics of every person that found himself within this environment. And naturally, if an officer who's from this area is now complaining that he cannot access the road, it is funny and I cannot take it because an essential duty we are doing here. So for no reason should any officer give any reason beyond the normal, which is sick, sickness or any other thing that has to do with ill health. The controller also spoke about his unscheduled visits to the passport office and the flooded areas, which he says should not be seen as an excuse to resume work. When you inform officers that you are coming, they will have been prepared for you. But this visit was impromptu. We visited my command that was flooded. We also visited the passport office. We assessed their working operation. And I also gave instruction, based on what I saw on the ground, that for no reason should anybody wait more than necessary without being attended to, because there are desk officers on the ground. The controller of immigration also assures that as soon as the water recedes from their office, officers and men of the command should relocate back to the main office.